All right, let's talk about potting soil because potting soil is the secret ingredient to growing plants in containers. So, you know, when you go to a, a garden center or a big box store, they've got all kinds of potting mixes, but those really are not a good mix because most of them contain a great deal of peat moss. Peat moss absorbs water and holds it like crazy. You know, for some things that's okay, but it's not the ideal thing. So usually most nurseries grow in some kind of a mix that contains either some kind of bark. And of course, depending on where you're at, in, you know, the geography changes what's available in your local area. But basically, you're looking for an organic mix. So this is a potting mix that I have been putting together for about three years now. And it, the base of this thing is hardwood bark mulch. It, it's it's hardwood bark at the hard mill at the hardwood sawmills they debark the logs before they run them through the mill so they sell they grind they double grind or triple grind the bark and sell that as a mulch but it does not contain wood it only contains bark the bark actually has a lot of nutrients in it the wood does not the wood is a nitrogen the wood will rob nitrogen like crazy from your plants as it decomposes and there's no nutrition in it whatsoever so this is the potting mix that I'm using right now. So you can see I picked out a couple of pieces of, of bark out of there. There's, there's actually a bunch, but what the, these bigger pieces do is they aerate the soil. So the most important thing for you to do is to start stockpiling your raw materials to make your potting mix. Now you can use, you know, around here we use double ground or triple ground hardwood bark mulch. A lot of growers grow in pine bark and we don't have much pine bark around here so they literally they actually pay to have it shipped from North Carolina to Ohio so they can grow in it. Other, so other people use rice hulls so I think it's really important that you take some time and talk to local growers in your area not necessarily retailers but you can start there but take a road trip and go visit as many nurseries as you can in your area keeping in mind there's probably nurseries in your area that you, you don't know a thing about because they don't sell retail, they don't advertise in the newspaper, they don't advertise on TV, they have a very small, they got a, their own little enclosed wholesale customer base so you don't even know about them. We have nurseries all over the place here that people don't even know exist because they sell to landscapers, garden centers, they ship you know out of state. So, but those are the guys that can, you'll figure out what they're using in their potting mix. So it, it'll really pay you to go and, and kind of have a casual conversation with them. Now, I've, te I've been telling people to do this for years. Most people have a very positive experience when they talk to people who are so-called competitors. Every once in a while you get somebody who feels threatened, they don't want to share any information. Move on, go find another one. But anyway, I'm going to explain to you exactly what I do. I, I start out with just a hardwood bark mulch. And then I, with, with this particular mix, I put a little bit of, um, I put sand in there, but I'm telling you not to do that because after I did it, one of the local growers says that he quit putting sand in because the sand filters down and fills up all the voids in the container. And that's not good. You, want, you don't want air pockets, but you want the soil to be able to breathe. So sand is really not a good thing for your potting mix. Small stones, like the, that's why I put a real coarse sand in there because it had a lot of stones in it so I didn't do it a lot of harm but I won't do it again um, I you know so what I do with this mix now this mix has been rotting for about three years so you can see that for the most part it's pretty fine it's loose and it, it does breathe now so what what you want to do is you want to get as much mulch as you can afford to stockpile you're never going to have enough you're going to find out that you're running out so what you want to do is you let's say that you buy eight or ten yards of mulch Put it in a pile and then you want to level that pile off so it's flat on top so when it rains and snows and what have you, the moisture can get to the center of that pile and everything in the pile gets wet and starts to break down. And I'm going to, let, we're going to walk out back and I'm going to show you a couple things back there because I'm actually starting a new potting soil pile way out back because I want this area up here. I'm probably going to load this up and move it out back and, and I'll add this to the mix that I'm starting back there. So. Let's wander out back and take a look at that. All right, so basically what I have here, there's, there's 20 yards of uh, double ground hardwood bark in this pile. I had, I dumped this here. Um, I, I, I bought it and had them deliver. They dumped it here sometime probably in June or July, I guess. I don't even know for sure. But so this is, this is bark mulch. 
and you can see that it's that it's pretty fine and it's it's pretty well shredded and that real fine shredded stuff is what's going to break down really quick and actually add a lot of nutrition to your potting mix but so growing in that as it is right now is not a great thing but after it breaks down for a year or so and and so what I do is I just keep adding to my piles once I get I showed you up front the mix that we're using now I'm going to add that mix to this pile which will help this pile to break down faster but at the same time it's going to add more texture and a little bit of coarseness to what I'm using there because I want the mix to drain really really well so now I want to show you I'm going to show you some wood chips that came from a tree tree service let's walk over and look at this other pot all right now this is a pile of wood chips that came from a tree service a tree removal service this stuff is free now when you're looking for something to grow plants in for a potty mix free is usually never going to work I, I get this stuff for free because I use it to put down on the ground to keep weeds down in between my rows I'll use it to cover bald trees for the winter or even the summer to hold in moisture so this stuff has a ton of, of wood in it you know there's all it's all wood there's no bark in here whatsoever makes a great mulch for keeping weeds down and drying up some mud to keep you from walking in the mud but it's no good for a potting mix if you look over here this you know this is a different load you can just see all the twigs and stuff in here leaves and twigs and you know someday that'll break down and be a decent organic material but for the most part it's not going to it's not going to work as a, it is a, is a growing mix. You really have to have some bark. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create an area back here next to that potting soil and I'm going to buy a semi load of pine bark and have that pine bark delivered and dumped and I'm going to, because the pine bark will add a lot of texture to my potting mix. So I'm going to mix that hardwood bark that I showed you, the potting mix that I have up there with the pine bark and I'm going to have to buy that out of North Carolina. I got to, you know, and, and of course, to get them to bring it here, I got to buy 90 yards, which is, you know, completely out of the question for most people. But depending on you could, but if you go to a, the big box stores, they, a lot of times they'll sell a, a a soil conditioner, which is basically pine bark and pine bark chips. So you know, you may be able to find some pine bark. You know, it's got to be fine. You don't want great big nuggets, but you, if you can find the fine stuff, you may be able to mix up small amounts of potting soil that way so anyway I, I hope that you know I, I was able to help make you understand the difference between bark mulch wood chips and then a good potting mix so again you know you, you've got to have some nutrition in there you've got to have good aeration this stuff it's got so much wood in it that it will just completely rob any nitrogen that you try and put in there for the plant and the, the plants will just do really really poorly so do not do not make a potting mix out of free wood chips that you can get from a, a, a trimming service. Now, a lot of times I will add compost to my hardwood bark mulch. So I'll I'll level my pile off. It's two feet high, and then I may go get some commercial compost, which is usually kind of sticky. And compost just depends on who made it, where it came from, and all that. And then I'll put a layer of that on there. Then I might put a, a layer of fine stone. You don't want to use limestone because limestone can alter the pH of your soil but a, something like silica stone or pea gravel um, you can put a little bit of that on there and I make it kind of like a dagwood sandwich so I got a layer of, of bark a layer of compost a little small layer of stone and then with my little tiny mantis rototiller I'll till the edge of that pile and then mix it all together and use it that way so anyway I hope this is helpful as far as potting soil is concerned